Hey guys, this is Calvin from Instalod. In this video, I want to show you some of the possibilities available with the Custom Geometry Imposter. Custom Geometry Imposters are an extremely powerful tool that allow you to break the boundaries of what is possible with traditional imposters. In this scene, I have a very problematic mesh, which is this front grille. The mesh is very complex and therefore requires all of the available edges to model out this complex detail. Due to the complex nature of this mesh, optimizing is not a viable solution as the geometry breaks immediately, making the result unusable. A billboard imposter could theoretically work. However, billboards create flat geometry, whereas this grille has curvature to it. This is where we would want to create a curved imposter, and that is exactly what we can do with the custom geometry imposter. I have already created my own custom geometry in a modeling application, which took me around two minutes to make. I started off with a flat plane and simply added some curvature to it on the individual axes to match the curvature of the grill. Once done, I moved my custom geometry behind the grill for baking. For Instot to recognize which mesh to bake onto another, we need to make sure that we edit the name of the object and add the underscore imposter mesh name suffix. Once the setup is complete, we can let InSlot process. In this process, InSlot shoots out rays from the normals of my custom geometry outwards, which is also why we are placing my mesh behind the grill. The result gives us an almost unchanged visual result. To match the position of the original grill, I will move my geometry forward by just a few centimeters, and then we can edit the materials to our needs. Remember, when we first optimized the model to 10%, the result was unusable. But now, with a massive reduction, we have a result that is faithful to the original with perfect shading. Custom geometry imposters can be useful in virtually any situation where optimizing wouldn't be possible due to the complexity of the input mesh.